Hey guys, welcome back to the Enchanted Rose. If you are new here, my name is Emmeline. And today, we're in a different location. We are in like my kitchen, dining room, living room area. And today, I'm going to be attempting to make some Minnie Mouse ears. I've made a few pairs of Minnie Mouse ears here on this channel, but we're doing a different type today. We're gonna be doing some fabric sewing, all that jazz. I'm doing this to practice a little bit because if you guys didn't watch last week's video of my um, Disney quarantine Q&A tag, um, or if you missed it or anything, I talked about a little bit um, about how I'm thinking about starting a Minnie Mouse Etsy shop, um, Minnie Mouse ear Etsy shop. I've been practicing a little bit. I practiced last night and we got this this little poof right here it's a little too small for what i want so we're going to try and make it a little bit bigger today and attempt to actually make a full pair of ears so if you guys want to see this attempt and kind of learn how i'm going about this process and stuff then keep on watching So here are the materials that I have to make these ears. I have some fabric that I want to use to make the ears. Um, I've got a pen, I've got some pins, I've got a rotary cutter, some scissors, this little poofy thing to hold some of the pins that I have, headband, obviously my sewing machine, it's a brother sewing machine, I don't really know what kind it is. And then we have some stencils for the ears, which I will talk about in a little bit. And I do have some white thread. I think it fell on the floor, though. So hold on. All right, got the thread. So those are pretty much... Oh, and I have this polyfill um, stuff. stuff. So that's all the materials that I'm going to be using today um, to make these ears. Like I said, um, I made that little poofy poof over there last night and it took a while to get to where I was. A lot of sweat and tears went into practicing last night, but I'm learning and I'm practicing so I can launch my shop. So let's get started with these ears. First, what you're going to want to do is obviously pick out your fabric. I'm using this fabric. I got this at uh, where did I go? Hobby Lobby. That's where I went. Hobby Lobby. And you can see I have some cuts and stuff. This was just in a little pack that I got. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just fold it in half. All right. So I'm folding it in half because you're going to want to cut out four different pieces. Hold on. I'm going to do it again. Do it this way. And you're going to want to fold it so the inside is facing out because you are going to right on the fabric. Yeah. This is not really going to be much of a tutorial, it's going to be more of like how I'm doing this, but don't do as I say because I am not, I'm not an expert at this. Alright, so I'm folding it in half because you're going to want four like ear pieces um, and folding it in half just gets them to be more even um, to your pieces and it just saves a little bit of time. So I found this template online for how big you want the ears to be. Um, it has the ear cutting line and the ear sewing line. These are like adult sizes. And then there was um, a template for like the cardboard piece and stuff, but I'm not putting cardboard in these. Um, but as I was doing them, I don't know if it was just I was sewing wrong or whatever, but like I made the cutting line, made the sewing line, and the ear is very, very small. So I'm not going to use the sewing line today. I'm just going to use the cutting line. And I'm going to trace the cutting line twice. And then I'm just going to kind of like cut it out around where I did it, kind of like in a square, and use that as my guide for today and see if that helps. So, so like I said, we're going to trace it twice. And then I recommend if you're going to do this to um, trace 
the template lines like these things on like cardboard or something that's more sturdy just so it's kind of easier and they're not flimsy and you don't have to worry about it possibly ripping or anything I just haven't done that yet so now we have two and then I'm just gonna take my rotary cutter and I'm just gonna cut out just enough to like leave some extra fabric but make them I don't know like boxes or something I don't know I'm just gonna cut them So now we've got that done, and now we have two ears. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna take my little needles that are in here and just poke them through to keep the two fabric pieces together. So now let's get the sewing machine ready. All right, so we have the sewing machine out and ready. I just need to quickly reset the threads. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Um, do it for however your sewing machine works. Um, take the little strip real quick just to make sure it's working because I've been having issues. Just gonna quickly test it out real quick. Oh, it is good. So now we're going to take one of our pieces you're gonna still want to keep it inside out and then you're just going to line it up at one of the corners and the key to doing this so you can stuff in stuff at the end is you don't want to sew the bottom part shut so Let's zoom you guys in just so you can kind of see what I'm doing so I have that on just so I can see really quick. I'm gonna bring the needle down. And you're gonna wanna try and get the needle as close to the line that you're going to sew on as you can. Boom. And you're just gonna wanna work slow. And you're going to see as I kind of like go on, I'm going to stop and like raise the foot and readjust. got it so then I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut all of that excess fabric around the um, the sewing line Actually, I'm gonna take my rotary cutter and do it I just realized you guys could not see what I was doing <laughs> I'm taking the rotary cutter and I'm just cutting the excess and then you can kind of see I'm not the best in my stitch work, but we tried. Actually, there's a little gap somewhere. I don't know where it was. Oh, there it is. I'm just gonna quickly hand sew that. So now we're gonna take the fabric and we're going to turn it inside out or right side out. And then you have a little ear. So now we are going to bring you guys in a little bit. We're going to fill the ear with some fiber fill. We're going to 
really make sure we're stuffing it in there. And then once it's all like nice and full, you can see we've got some shape to the ear. We're gonna fold in one half. Fold the other. We're gonna kind of like fold it in so it creates a smoother edge. You know what? I don't even think I'm gonna worry about getting this like nice and folded like I had it before. I think I'm just gonna have them folded down flat because it's gonna be flat anyway. Hold on, this needs more fill in that corner. After lots of time, we finally have the bottom of this sewed. So, my camera's about to die, so I'm going to do the other ear off camera, and then I will come back to you guys um, when it's time to put them on the headband. Okay, so we're back. Um, my, I changed my shirt because I had to go run a few errands um, while my batteries were charging and stuff. Um, and it started pouring out, and sorry if you can hear thunder because it's, it's storming right now. It's a little stormy, so yeah. Um, so I finished the other little like poofy thing, the little ear. Um, this is the second one I made. This one definitely came out better than this one. They're definitely not perfect, um, but they're still pretty cute. It's practice. It's fine. Um, so yeah, so I did just go to Walmart. Um, and I got myself some foam so I can stick foam um, in these to help them keep their shape even better um, for when I practice making other ears but obviously these ones are all sewn up and stuff so they're it's not going in there but so we got that so now it's time to attach the ears to the headband um, so first I need to plug in my hot glue gun Alright, I got my hot glue gun. I really hope the power doesn't go out while I'm doing this because that'll suck. Alright, I got that. So I'm going to turn this on, get that heated up. And then we're just going to glue them to the headband. Nothing special. So while the glue is, the glue gun's heating up, I'm going to mark out where I want the little ears to go on the headband. Oh, lightning. Oh boy. Alright, let's do this. So, I'm just gonna put some glue. weather app just alerted me that it's um it's gonna start raining but it, it has been weather app it has been it has been for uh, quite a bit and you guys we got the mini ears i would like make a bow or something but i don't know how to do that and i don't really honestly feel like attempting so we're done. Let's put them on, give them a little try on. These are so cute. I mean, like we said, or like I said. This is my first time like attempting to do ears with like my sewing machine and stuff, like actually sewing them and all that. 
So I am actually pretty proud of how these turned out. I think I actually could have probably spaced them out a little bit more, but I don't know. I think they're pretty cute. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I think they're pretty cute. That was my, my first attempt at making ears like this. Do we like it? What do we think? Let me know. That's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more Disney videos from me and to see like updates on my Etsy shop and stuff like that. Like I said, that's why I am doing this and practicing for my shop. Um, you know, and I'll keep you guys updated on all of that stuff because I'm really excited about that project and I really want to launch it for you guys, but I want to make sure that I can like perfect these ears for you guys. So go and follow me on social media to stay updated with videos when they go live, stay updated with my life, go check out my vlog channel to stay updated more with my life. It's more personal over there. Um, and I'm doing like wedding videos and stuff like that over there. So if you guys want to know what's going on with my wedding, definitely go check out that channel and check out my social media because I give updates on there too. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go now and I will see you guys next time in another video. Bye everybody.